Hello everybody, it's Heather from Little Bird Blythe. I thought I would show you something slightly different today. I do have other dolls other than Blythe dolls, although um, Blythe is my main love and I do have quite a lot of those particular dolls. But I just thought I'd show you another couple of the dolls that I've bought um, in the past, probably, I don't know, about a year ago maybe, because I kept seeing them on Etsy and thought, oh my goodness, they're just so adorable. So I have got two of these. Now I do love them to pieces. However, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to keep them because of the issue that I have with dolls, with wigs. I just really do not like wigs on dolls because the whole thing, when they fall off, it drives me absolutely crackers, having to put them back on again all the time, and I really dislike it. However, so having said that, these dolls are absolutely gorgeous, so I thought that I would share them with you, just so that you could see them, and I'm still not entirely sure whether I'm going to keep them or not, but we'll see. So we have here um, two dolls from the maker Papinky Dolls, and she's on Etsy, and she's very, very talented, and these dolls I think are made from resin and they're ball jointed dolls and they are unique to her as far as I'm aware. So here we have the uh, bigger sister doll and this is, I actually bought them on eBay um, so I bought them second hand um, and, I, and when I bought them they had uh, clothes with them but you can see that they're strong dolls and they're very poseable and that's really nice, I like that. Um, but the problem is that wigs keep falling off and that drives me mad. So this one's a lovely sort of older sister to this particular, the other doll I've got here. I think this one's called Melissa, but I'm not entirely sure. I must look that up. She's got lovely little eyelashes. She's got such a funny little face on her, little teeth that you can see. Um, and her face is, is sort of a bit deformed, dare I say, but she's just so adorable and I think she's so pretty and I love her very much. And she's very nice to pose and I just think she's a lovely little dolly and her hair is gorgeous if, and if it didn't keep falling off then it wouldn't be such a problem. This one's not as bad actually, this one's not as bad as, as Boo Boo uh, and she's a very pretty little doll so you can see there, so there you go. She's um, I would say probably about the same proportions as a, as a Blythe doll um, but maybe her hips are a little wider possibly. Um, but I, I think that's probably what attracts me to them, the sort of similar sort of proportions. She's a bit heavier than a Blythe as well because she's made from the resin. But she's got a lovely little face up and glass eyes by the look of it. So she is a lovely doll. So there you go, so that's that one. And by the same maker we've got here is the, the Boo Boo doll, which I think that's how you pronounce it. And she's so lovely. Again, it's that sort of strange little face, sort of, oh, really, she's just so cute with the little teeth out. And I really adore her. She's so pretty. Um, but her wig keeps falling off. And that's what drives me completely mad. If there was a way of keeping the wig on permanently, I'd probably keep them. But because the wigs fall off, that's what bothers me. Then they just get in the way. Um, I have made some clothes for this one. This this actually is a Blythe dress, as it happens, from a different maker. But I thought she looked quite nice in it because it's orange, and I put her in it in Halloween. Um, but I have made some little outfits. So I made this little silk dress, which she looks very cute in. That colour suits her very much. I made a little tutu skirt. She came in this outfit here, which is cute by the maker. That's the measurements of the doll. And yeah, they come lovely in these little boxes that are padded. And she's got a little shawl there and I made her this little um, dress with the little pom-poms on the bottom. And a little shawl and her little sort of tutu underskirt that goes underneath that and a little shawl around her neck and that does look very cute on so she's got she's got a little set of clothes so she's got plenty to wear and she does look very cute in it um, but I keep putting her back in a box because uh, her wig falls off um, I could really do with her being on display because I just love her little face um, and she sort of look at, looks at me like hello mummy um, she's just so cute and you can see there that they're made by the same artist there's a wig going again um, but I think they're sort of it's like older sister, younger sister they're so cute 
this one obviously the body proportions are much smaller she's got much smaller feet and I wrote down the body measurements so I could make her some more clothes which is so they're very cute anyway I'm rambling on as usual they're very beautiful ball jointed dolls like little mini ones I don't know what you what you call them I'm not really into BJDs and these are the only ones I've got that are sort of resin made from resin but they are lovely dolls I would recommend them because they're so lovely but obviously they're there for display rather than playing with because the features do come off so I thought I would share those with you today I hope you've enjoyed meeting them both and um, if you do like doll videos please do subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you're told when I release new videos and uh, I may well be making more clothes for this one I'll have to see if you've got any ideas on the best way to keep wigs on I mean maybe that's the idea if you've got any comments on that and you can think of a way of keeping these wigs on I'm not sure whether it's practical to glue them you see I think would that totally ruin the doll is it just because the the wig's not quite the right size I mean this is the wig that came with the doll so in theory that's the right sized one but if you've got any ideas of the best way to keep them in situ then please leave a comment below because I'd gratefully receive any suggestions um, because I really would like to keep them I do like them very much I love the dolls I think they're very pretty they're definitely my sort of style um, and I think I would enjoy making more clothes for them so anyway thanks anyway um, lovely to see you thanks for coming back um, if you have and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video take care bye